watching this video. You stick around at the end of the video you get to see that uh, crash in slow motion and it's uh, pretty dramatic so if you get a chance go ahead and, and subscribe to our channel click on that bell icon and we'll send you uh, notifications of any upcoming videos and stuff like this that we have coming up in the future and uh, at the end of the video here we'll uh, we'll announce the winner of that X930 octocopter frame so stick around for all that. The video today is about the uh, stalling landing gear that uh, we talked about a couple videos back and uh, we finally come up with a fix for that uh, those stalling landing gear from Hobby King. It's not the landing gear's fault. The landing gear are working really well. The problem is, is that uh, we had the landing gear on one channel. And a lot of people do that. They'll put all their landing gear, all three of their electric landing gear on one channel. And when you do that, it puts a really large draw on the, uh, the Bex amperage. It wasn't enough to get our nose wheel to come down every time. We get the uh, mains to come down. Sometimes one had come down, sometimes both had come down. We just had intermittent problems with them. But what we found is if we take those landing gear and we split, split them up, we get to put the mains on one channel and we put the steering landing gear on the other channel, then we put it on a three position switch so that uh, there wouldn't be any problems with drawing amperage on three landing gear at the same time. You know what I mean? Even though we're on separate channels, you're still drawing the same amount of juice from the battery. So with three position switch, we bring the mains down first. And uh, as soon as they're down, we click the uh, switch one more position and uh, the, the steering landing gear comes down. And it's exactly the reverse bringing it up. It's just uh, one click up, uh, nose wheel comes up, second click up, your main gears come up. And we, as you can see in the video right now, it's uh, flying around and the chase drone's following it and showcasing that, that landing gear is just coming up and down repeatedly. And uh, it's a good feeling when you're flying around, you know your landing gear is going to work. So hopefully that'll help you guys that are having problems with your stalling landing gear. Just split those channels up and don't activate them all at the same time. It's just too much for the back coming off of those small ESCs. But uh, it, uh, it worked out real well until I realized that uh, I had flown too long and that my battery was dropping in voltage really quickly and I, I, I had to land immediately. And uh, fortunately I, I fly on a dry lake out in uh, Lucerne Valley, California, and uh, I can pretty much land anywhere I want. But uh, unfortunately this time there was a pothole in my way after I made a fairly decent landing, dead stick, and uh, the plane rolled right into that pothole and it grabbed hold of that front, the plants that are growing in that pothole. So we've had a little rain out here in California, as you know, and uh, it grabbed hold of that front landing gear and just tore it right out of the front nose piece of that center boom. But and that's not the first time that's happened to us. We uh, repaired a, a broken landing gear with that PLA pen in one of our videos, and this time we just took it home. We decided we were going to try and replace that whole piece, and it was surprisingly easy to do. I was able to cut it off and uh, chipped away at it until I got that, you know, the I got that piece completely removed. I reprinted it, reprinted a new nose piece, and. Uh, put it back together and look better than it did the day we went out to the dry lake when I crashed it. So it's uh, awesome. 3D printing airplanes is a lot of fun and uh, the flexibility it gives you with your airplanes is great too. Even if you destroy your airplane, a couple of printers, you can print another one up in a couple of days. So we took the plane home. Like I said, we fixed it up and we mounted a camera on it. You know, we're going to be doing some plane on drone stuff. We promised you that in the last video that we put out. And uh, as a matter of fact, we actually did that. And uh, there was a winner to that. And uh, as the camera will totally attest, and you see a little uh, clip there, you'll probably almost determine who, which, which one of the aircraft won based on that clip. But well, it's time in the video now to give away that octocopter frame, that X930 octocopter frame. And John Giddis, you're the winner. Email us your address. We'll go ahead and send that out to you right away. Congratulations.
appreciate you watching, and we hope you have a great rest of your day.